YouTube family, my name is Alicia English and welcome back to my channel. Today is episode three of our porch makeover and today I get to do something fun. I'm going to revamp my winter Christmas wreath and turn it into something a little more heading into Valentine's spring. I don't wanna go hearts and rainbows but we're gonna make it look really pretty for this time of year. I am going to use the same grapevine wreath and what I did was I just wired everything on instead of hot gluing that way I can reuse this grapevine wreath every single season if I wanna change up my wreath. Cause I know I'm gonna to wanna to make a new one next year for Christmas, so I'm not going to save this one. We are also going to paint our screen door, but let's get started with our wreath. What I did is I bought a planter that had fake plants in it and I wanted to use the pot for a real plant. So I just pulled all of the greenery out of the styrofoam, put it in a baggie and saved it because I thought, boy, I can use this for something. I'm not a craft hoarder, but when I have useful materials like this, I like to save them in my bins. And so I also have some anemone flowers. These are just fall, like fake flowers and they have soft fluffy leaves and everything on them. They're actually really pretty and I thought these colors would be great for a pop of color on the wreath against all of our blue and orange and yellow stuff we have on the porch. So I'm going to disassemble this Christmas wreath and pull out all the wires that I used to tie everything on. This is just a great way to be able to multi-use your wreath materials. And I'm going to still keep everything that I used on this because I can always use some of these parts again to revamp a different wreath. And you would never know looking at that wreath. No, because I use the green floral wire I always keep a spool of this and make sure that you put a little piece of something around this so it doesn't unspool because I spent quite a bit of time the other day unraveling one. So now I've made myself a little twisty tie for the end so that it never gets tangled on me again. Wire is not the nicest thing to have to untangle. So This wreath sustained our blustery Ontario winter just using the wire. So I really didn't even need to use the glue, which is great. All right, and now we're back to basics and we get to make a wreath for a totally different season. Asymmetrical wreaths are still really trendy for 2021 and so I want to design my floral side just kind of going around this left side of the wreath and then I'll be able to tuck in some of that other greenery from that old pot and so I want to kind of ombre these where I do the dark, the medium and then the light on the bottom and I love the detailing in these fake flowers. I love the like hint of yellow and everything in there. Let's get these all spruced up and then I can kind of adjust them as I get them in there. Floral wire, I'll be able to hold, get those to go where I want them. Oh, that looks really good. It will when I get it all. It's gonna go like ombre-y and then... <laughs> these fake flowers look so real. These are from the dollar store. <laughs> Look at how beautiful they are. Look at this one, it has like the orangey. Oh, where did my pink one go? Look at the orange like textures and, or the yellow textures inside. Wow. Anemone flowers. I wouldn't buy them if they didn't look proper. Right? Yeah. The craft store has beautiful ones, but like $50 for like a string of fake flowers. And they're not very much. It's not the first time that I'm happy. It's not the first time. Okay, just for the record, YouTube family, I had never made any wreaths at all until I started doing some of my YouTube videos and I started playing around making a couple of wreaths because I noticed how expensive they were when you went to the store and I was like, there's no way I'm spending $100 for a wreath when I can try to do a DIY. And now I love making my own wreath and I've decided I really love making them. So sometimes until you try something, you don't know it's something you really like. But look at this, this whole thing cost me nothing but scraps and I believe my flowers were about $3. And I wanna show you how I make a little hanger just with jute. I don't wanna necessarily use one of those big metal wreath hangers that you put on your door, especially because mine's a screen door. And so I just made a little loop knot at the top here and I'm going to put my, just making a slip knot. I'm gonna pull it through and then the back has my loop and then there is my hanger. It's just a little slip knot. So rather than using something like a great big hanger, I'm just gonna use a piece of jute with a slip knot. And then this can hang on my hook that's on my door. Okay, so now let's paint the door, because now I need a door to put my beautiful wreath on. <laughs> Honey, have you looked at the comments? What, no, what did they say? I don't know, they okay, were saying- I have to go check. Oh, sorry, I should say, I do know, they were saying there was a lot of blue, but there were also a lot of black. Really? Okay, I'm going to count 
And it's going to be however many votes are black or blue. I have not decided. So I'm going to go check out the comment section. So thank you for your help if you left me a vote. I really do take your guys' consideration or votes and stuff on these things into consideration when I'm doing these projects, when I ask for help. I'm not just doing it so you guys will comment. So I'm going to go count the votes and then I'm going to get out either my blue paint or my black paint. Let's go see. Okay, I'm painting the door blue and I've decided to use the same blue that we used on the wall in the kitchen. It's a beauty tone paint color and it's called Water Ski. I know a lot of you are asking what color it was called, so I'm gonna put the information for it down in the description box and you can find this at Home Hardware. That's where you get beauty tone paint. All right, I'm gonna trim it and then I'm gonna roll it. Remember this paint looks gray when you first put it on and then it turns really blue. I like this choice, the blue. It will really blew it up. <laughs> Once it starts to dry and when, we get the second coat on it. <laughs> when we originally purchased this house, there was blue all over. The shutters were blue. The roof was a blue. Um, there was blue around the base of our house. It was the wrong blue. It was too much blue. This front porch makeover is turning out absolutely gorgeous. I'm making a couple of floating shelves so we can put some succulents and cacti in in the warmer months. And so I wanna have these shelves kind of inset in. So I'm just gonna cut out a couple of notches so that I'll be able to input this in. There's a little bit of a dip here and then they'll be a little bit back from the window. So this window will kind of work like a little greenhouse because the sun really beats through this little spot. Yeah, this window right here is uh, an Eastern South facing window. So it gets a lot of sun all morning and into the afternoon. Yeah, which is perfect for growing. Yeah. Anything. Growing anything. <laughs> and I need to do the exact same thing to the other one. So I really only have to draw it on one. Let's hope it works. <laughs> Will motivate spring to show up early. <laughs> Not for a couple Watch more weeks. Watch tomorrow's gonna be like the biggest snowstorm ever. <laughs> just because I did this. Watch board. your mouth. How dare you? How dare I? Jinx all of us. Perfect. I got something for them at least for now. I'll be back. Okay. Oh. Oh. At least for now. I need succulents and cacti though for the spring. And I'm gonna paint these white, I think, or at least the brackets white. But it's too cold today. Let's get the door on. Oh, Whoops! I forgot. I thought I had it in the You just painted. I'll catch it up Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> you can help me. <laughs> no, this is much better. Oh, now the obstacle of the beautiful lights. Oh, you got this. Oh! You hit the camera. I did? Yeah. Oh, I think we're fine.
Wow, hun. I like the blue with the black hardware. I love the blue. I'm so glad you did blue. And the wreath. Thank you, family. You guys voted. Blue was the winner. I really like the blue. I think it's perfect. Let's take a look inside the porch. Okay. It's pretty awesome. our hopefully motivating spring to arrive porch makeover. We used really nothing but scraps for this project and purchased an $80 couch, which we revamped with some antique feet. We built some floating shelves for some succulents and cacti. We used some scrap plywood that we had to make two round nesting tables. And then of course we made that scrappy wood plant here the other day. And we upcycled our Christmas wreath to turn it into a now sort of Valentine's spring wreath and just repainted our front door to give it a little bit of a different curb appeal for the warmer season. I love the lighting. Lighting makes such a big impact on a space. I know that for sure with some candles, our little battery operated lanterns and these beautiful studio lights, we're definitely going to enjoy a little bit of like a moonlight night out here. And we sit here all the time in the warmer months. So since my teeth are cold, we're not going to sit out here tonight. <laughs> we'll just observe it from the inside window. But for now, we hope that spring arrives soon so we can enjoy some warm weather out here. We love you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this makeover series. We love you and we will see you tomorrow.